Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video is going to show you how to display a dashboard. Looking at the Business Insight module, we're going to quickly look at the options that you have. You'll be able to enter a company name. It does not take the name from Library Master as you would think, so you can really have this be whatever you want. I can also attach a logo. And you'll note um, on my system, I have it under the MAS90 folder, images, and then my company code. I have some options, too, on how many um, segments I want in a pie chart. You can see that I can go up to six, down to four. My number of detail lines in a table, I have set at 15, but I can go up to 20. There's a little additional, and this is really asking us how often we want the data to auto update. I personally like being prompted each time I go into or uh, launch the dashboard. But you can see here that you have some choices. I'm going to leave it at always. But please try the, uh, try the different options. See if you like that. Now we're going to go into a wizard to uh, set up our dashboard. And I'm just going to run through this and I'm going to do this for uh, user SWK. Coming in, I have a number of widgets on the uh, left side of the screen that I can move over to the, to the right. And what you'll want to do is try each of these to f until you find the ones that work the best for you. You'll notice some of these are full, some of these are half. I would recommend that you always do uh, halves next, um, uh, like an even number of halves, then a full, uh, so that uh, the halves are filling up the entire page. If you do, say, a half, a full, and a half, uh, you're going to be leaving a lot of extra space that um, is unused. But let's try this. Let's try going using our payables aging and uh, how about our accounts receivable aging? I'm going to look at, oh, let's see, maybe top customers. And why don't we look at top vendors? There are some things in here that um, allow for uh, financial statements, and they are very abbreviated financial statements, some, um, some profitability and solvency ratios. These, of course, assume that you have set up your general ledger account numbers correctly. So let's try this and see if this works for us. I'm going to display my dashboard. And because my data is May of uh, 2020, I'm changing my date. And you could see now that I have my payables aging, my receivables, and as I hover over, it is showing me what is in the different segments, pie segments. And you can see them down here as well. Now you'll notice that it says aged invoice report. If I click on this, it is going to launch that report. Coming down, you could see my top customers. If I look at Shepherd's Motors work, and if I click on it, it's going to hyperlink me into customer inquiry for that particular customer. Same with vendors. And we look at some profitabilities. And again, keep you could see that we have a number of reports down here. And look, I have the same thing for items too. So if I want to just click on this, it's going to bring me into item inquiry. You can mix and match these different widgets to make them be what you want. When you are launching uh, Sage 100 and you have left this um, uh, displayed, it will display again once you, once you launch in a second time. And uh, then you really create a little bit more of an environment that perhaps is use more useful to you. The standard is the information center. Well, you know, not so great, right? Sure, it's great when I need to go find resources and uh, the information that's there. I also have set up a visual process flow that allows me to uh, brand my screen. 
I have visual process flows that I might use on a daily basis. And then looking at my uh, Business Insights dashboard, these are the things that really provide additional information as I am working within Sage 100. Try this out. I think you'll like it. We would love to help you if you would like to see more of the options that are available in Business Insights and the rest of Sage 100. Thanks for watching our video.